First things first, rest in peace, suck a fear. For real, you the only father that I ever knew. I get my straight and I'ma be a better you. Prophecies that I made way back in the field. For fear, listen, even back when we was broke, my team ill. Martin Luther King would have been on Treeville, talk to him. One time for my LA sisters, one time for my LA. So guys, Stefano here and if you guys seen the intro, it's pretty much telling you how to slow down this image from any drone, any camera, and I use the DJI Air 2S as an example. We're gonna jump right straight into DaVinci Resolve and pretty much what you want to do easy off the bat as the first clip you see this shot going really slow. I turn off my color grading because my PC or my Mac it's not that strong. But either way, so you what you want to do is Command R if you're using a Mac, or you can right click. I don't know what you could do on the window, but you right click and you will get it here. Retime Control, Command R, as I said, and you also want to use Retime Curve. So as you see, I have a speed ramp here, but what interests us, it's here. So the clip normally you will get it at a hundred percent when you start doing a clip as you guys know if you not so new to davinci resolve um and i speed up to 524 percent this is what i think it was a sweet spot and then i slow it down to 10 percent remember dji air 2s can only shoot 4k 60 fps which technically i could have only slow it down in between 40 to 50 percent maximum 40 percent but because davinci resolve is so good these days this you will just have to stretch it out 10 even 5 if you really want to do like this really super super slow mo but this was already super slow mo for me and you'll just have to go to retime and scaling you choose optical flow speed warp and this does the magic when you're gonna play this it's gonna be so smooth as you guys see in my intro uh, but you need to have the studio version if you don't have the studio version you can still do the same thing the only thing you will have to choose the the last option the better option for you would be enhance better you won't have speed ramp available it will be uh, blocked you can use it you it will tell you you pop up to buy the full version uh, but you can use enhance enhance better <laughs> and pretty much does the same job but a little bit i don't know you can still see some time depending how long is the shot you can see the difference um, but speed warp, warp <laughs> if you have the davinci studio version uh, I did the same thing when this guy was surfing here. If we go to retime control, you guys can see 10% retime curve. And I'm just going to show you my retime curve here. What's happening? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, retime frame and retime curve. Uh, you guys see here, it goes down. Okay. And the same thing with the last shot. It's already here. Let me do retime control. 10%. It's nice when you do a speed ramp and you smooth it out. You can use this option. I can make a better video of speed ramping. Um, so you can go here. Not If you were going to do like this, it's going to be too narrow. And if you do this, you can stretch it to the way you want it to be. The effect of the slow motion. And it gets your result like this. First things first, rest in peace, suck of fear. You the only father that I ever knew I get my straight and I'ma be a better you Prophecies that I made way back in the field For fear, listen even back when we was broke my team ill Martin Luther King would have been on Treeville, talk to him One time for my LA sisters One time for my LA Lady, can't tell the difference One time for a girl who knows Don't say bye, she don't want to be saved Don't say bye, she don't want to be saved she don't wanna be safe, don't save her. She don't wanna be safe. 
Thank you so much for watching the clips and this small tutorial of how to get super slow motion in DaVinci Resolve. If you like what you see, if you think this was helpful for you, please like and subscribe my video. Again, pretty much new to this. I'm always on Instagram. You can follow me there as well. And I hope to see you in the next one. Booyah!